Good afternoon. Um, a lot of people are suggesting this is a must-win game for Manchester United if you're going to keep a, a title race going. Is that how you see things in December? I play a game at a time. I play a game at a time. Uh, and I think it's the way to do it. I think it's the way, it's the way to do it. You know, yesterday I was watching an um, interesting movie, Bjorn Borg versus John McEnroe. And Borg coach was telling him that all the time. One point at a time. Think just about one point. And I tell my players, think just about the game. I always say this. Doesn't matter what comes after, doesn't matter what happened before, it's just this game. So now it's, it's Arsenal. We don't think how many points we are in front of them, how many points we are behind the leader. Uh, we don't think about, about that. It's just Arsenal. It's, it's difficult enough for us to be focused on, on other things. Focus on, on this game. So keeping with that film, are you, are you John McEnroe, Arsene Wenger is beyond Borg? No. no. <laughs> I, I don't play tennis. <laughs> I love tennis. I don't play tennis. But what would you make of everyone thinking they know what you're going to do at the Emirates tomorrow? Everyone says Jose is going to be pragmatic. Does that annoy you? Does it frustrate you? Or does it amuse you? No. No. When, uh, when we have the ball, we are going to attack with 11 players. Because even the goalkeeper needs to know what um, what to do when we have the ball, and when um, Arsenal has the ball, we are going to defend with eleven players. Is it worth Jose taking risks sometimes to, to get a result in a game like this when everybody wants you, you to beat Arsenal? Everybody, all the United fans want, want to see the, what the you, gap. Depends what you think about risk. You know, I think in in the beginning of football, the guy that that decide to say defenders. Attackers, this guy was was bad. Because in football, everybody has to defend and everybody has to attack, especially in 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 modern football. So for me, is you can say what you want, you can analyze in the perspective you want to to analyze. My goalkeeper needs to know what to do when his team has the ball. My goalkeeper needs to know how to attack. And my striker needs to know how to defend. When we don't have the ball, my striker needs to know what to do. So this is this is simple. You can you can analyze in the perspective you want. For me, it's simple. This has been a huge fixture over the years. Do you have memories of this game between United and Arsenal before you joined Manchester United? No. What are those? You know, I think uh, I don't know. I remember big matches. But not specifically. I remember that even before me coming to England, 2004 was for many years was about Manchester United and and Arsenal for the for the title. You know, so. Jose, you say that it's every game at a time, but every game is different. You don't really have to worry too much about resting players ahead of the Champions League game on the Tuesday. Does that then not affect the way that you do approach that game, given the fact that maybe selection is a bit easier for you? The Champions League? No, you don't have to worry considerably about that in terms of what you have to do on Tuesday. So therefore, is it easier for you maybe to approach this game in, in a different way than you might have done, not resting players, etc.? You know, I think I would always try to play the best possible team. I think even if the Champions League match was... Uh, I must win match. I think I would forget it. I would go for the game, one game at a time, and I would go for the game that is the most important game now, which is the next one. is is tomorrow, and I say it's difficult enough, difficult enough for you to be not focused and to be thinking about other things. Is it realistic though that you you don't worry about what's ahead of you in terms of Manchester City? I don't in the position. Totally, I don't. Jose, Gareth Southgate has said he, he trusts England's medical team to make the right decisions on things like Phil Jones. I know you were not too happy about the injections he had a couple of weeks ago. Have England explained more to you about that and, and is he now fit and available for this weekend? No. Have they told you anything? No. And he's not available. What about Eric Bailly? He's not available. 